Today we're talking about cognitive functions as a whole and how I perceive them to be as pedals to the mind. It's a metaphor that I've been kind of using to try to um, visualize how things are working and I would like to share it with you in this video. So tune in for that and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive in. So I was saying that I perceive cognitive functions to kind of look like four sets of pedals. These pedals have two extreme points. So for example, we've got extroverted feeling and introverted thinking working together, because as you know, someone who has extroverted feeling also uses introverted thinking as a preference. Then we've got extroverted thinking and introverted feeling working together as two extreme sides of a pedal. We've then got introverted intuition with extroverted sensing and extroverted intuition with introverted sensing. So how I imagine these things to work is in the form of a spinning wheel. The wheel contains four different lines and on each of these lines we've got the two cognitive functions that work together as a pair. What I'm trying to say here is that often enough we cannot experience and kind of understand one of these functions in the absence of the other one. So you cannot really use extroverted feeling without inputting somehow into introverted thinking. You cannot use introverted intuition without somehow inputting into extroverted sensing and so on and so forth with the other pairs as well. It seems to me that um, the ability to gain resources from one cognitive function kind of digs and dives into the resources that are provided by the other function. Like introverted intuition feeds into the information that is brought through the lens of extroverted sensing, for example. Or extroverted thinking can make decisions for the outside world with respect to what introverted feeling feeds into it. Because everything is dual and everything consists of pairs that work together in order for us to be able to do something or understand something or think something or feel something or whatever. So sometimes I'm wondering whether we could really um, narrow down personality types into four main types. Surely there will be differences among them, but I've noticed that there seems to be an inherent similarity between the types who use the same four first cognitive functions. So one group would be ESTJ, ISTJ, ENFP and INFP because they all use extroverted thinking, introverted feeling, extroverted intuition and introverted sensing. Then we've got another group with INFJ, ENFJ, ISTP, ESTP. Again, they use the same cognitive functions. We've then got um, ENTP, INTP, ISFJ and ESFJ. And lastly, we've got INTJ, ENTJ, ISFP and ESFP. And what I'm seeing as some sort of a pattern here is that in within each of these groups, there is an inherent similarity in terms of both information processing and decision making. So it's possible that, as I like to say it, um, the, 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 the spiritual journey of each one of these types is to somehow approach the energy and the spiritual essence of its opposite type. Opposite in terms of letters, not in terms of cognitive functions. So like an ENTJ getting as close to the energy of an ISFP and the other way around, or an ENTP getting as close as the spiritual energy of an ISFJ and the other way around, and so on and so forth. Because the more I look at things, the more I notice how our um, child and inferior functions are kind of calling us. And they're calling us to come and dig deeper into the energy into the world of possibilities that we can take from there. So we're pressing the pedals and the more we press the pedal, <laughs> the more the other side rises. The more we press onto introverted thinking, 
the, the less we use extroverted feeling and the other way around. And this works for all of the cognitive function pairs. And I'm gonna end by saying that all of us, regardless of what personality type we are, are somehow like a dancer sitting into the middle of a sea of processes. And the more we dance onto one side, the less the other side is involved, similarly into all of the different directions. And it's really beautiful to look at all of that beauty, all of that um, inherent connection of patterns, of colors, of different ways of doing something or looking at something. Where are you on that circle? What are the things that flow through you? And what kind of things do you think are neglected in the back? Share with me in the comments below.